Hi, this is Leon McKenzie speaking. I'm here with my man Darren Jones on the number one radio station in Luton. Thanks. Along with Ignite, our brilliant track that got number one written all over it, if you ask me. So right then, anyway guys, it is that time where I bring in a special guest into the studio who's going to come and talk to me about all things music and sport. And today I welcome ex-Premier League football player Leon McKenzie. Leon, how are you doing? All right? What's up, Lindo? You all right? Oh, not too bad. I, I tell you, it would help if I actually put your microphone on there. I do, oh, right. I, I do these silly things, you see. I'm an absolute nightmare. If you listen... if you You're nervous. If, uh, it's not, it's not that I'm nervous, it's just I always forget to push buttons, you see. Like, I'll, I'll press a button and it starts coming up with a different DJ's name rather than myself, yeah. and oh, it's a nightmare. But anyway, obviously, once again, we welcome you to the studio, and how are you doing today now that everyone can hear you? I'm great. I um, appreciate you inviting me to the station, and it's a, really, it's a privilege for me to be on today. And it's absolutely brilliant. And it, to be fair, what I'm really chuffed about is that I, I saw you on Twitter, mm -hmm. and I literally just sent you one tweet of, look, Leon, come on my show, come have a sing song, and you was the first person to go, yeah, I'll, I'll be right after that. What, what made you think, yeah, I really want to have a pop at this on uh, Diverse? Um, well, it's just like, obviously, obviously, my career is obviously football, yeah. and um, this is something that is uh, coming into my life at the moment in respect of music. Uh, obviously, my family is uh, based with music, and, and I just felt that it's an opportunity to, to start kind of promoting what I'm doing in the res you know in the respect of, of singing and stuff, and it shows people um, you know that I can probably actually sing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, I've got to admit, I've been uh, I was sitting in here and I was listening to you and James out there yeah. um, doing the track that you're going to be playing for us later, and I've got to admit, I was really shocked to hear that a football player can sing that well. So I think uh, I think the listeners out there are going to have an absolute ball if you ask me. I'm like, oh mate, oh mate. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, let, actually, let's let's crack on and talk about the football first because um, you're a guy that I've followed ever since you was at Crystal Palace and you went to Peterborough. But um, you know, what's what's been your personal highlights in the game, and what's most probably been your best moment? Well. You can never take away your debut. My debut for Bristol Palace and obviously scoring on that day was a dream come true and that led me into the professional way of things. Highlights of my career would have to be when I was at Norwich um, and uh, you know, you're playing in the Premiership, you're playing against the best in the world uh, you know, and it's the best league in the world and it was an opportunity to again try and show that I, you know, I can play Premiership football, and then once the goals started flowing in for me, I had a wicked partnership with Dean Ashton. Yeah, very sad. It's very sad, by the way, about Dean Ashton. Didn't yeah, you? I mean, he's a lovely guy. You know, on and off the pitch, he's a, he's a great guy, and um, you know, some some things we just we can't weigh up. But um, it was unfortunate that he had to retire. Yeah. But like I said, we we had a great partnership, and it was we was unfortunate not to stay in the Premiership at that particular time. Definitely, because it was the last game of the season. Was it Was it Fulham you played on the last game of the yeah, season? Yeah, we kind of uh, didn't really do too well in that last game. We got beat 6-0, I think it was. But at least you had the chance to shine, that's the main thing. There was times in the season where I thought, you know, this is great. And um, obviously, scoring a winner against Man United was probably a, a big highlight, which a lot of Norwich fans know. Yeah, definitely. But I'll tell you what, talking about Norwich, because obviously at, at Norwich you kind of got legendary status, Nigel Worthen, and he didn't want you to leave when you was there, um, before obviously you went to Coventry. Um, but ba basically, when, when you left Norwich, you scored your 100th goal actually against Norwich. Yeah. Um, yeah how, how did that feel? Because that must have been really difficult. Do you celebrate, don't you? To be honest, it was a bit weird because I'd been out for a little while due to injury and... Um, you know what, the, the first time I had actually made a t-shirt done and I'd put like a hundred goals on and I'd put all like, my babies on it and everything. Yeah. Um, and it was the first time I wore it and I was obviously sub and I came off the bench and I came on and it was obviously it was against Norwich. And when I scored, it was just, my emotions were just like, like wow. Not because it was against Norwich, it could have yeah. been against anyone, but it was my hundredth goal and it had been out a long time. We knew what we were sort of going through at the time. and. You know, all I can really say is obviously like, sorry to Norwich fans for like, <laughs> over celebrating, but it was never ever like to, it was not a kick in the teeth to like Norwich fans. I love, I love Norwich. Like, yeah, they know that. So. I, I, we've a, I've actually got a Norwich fan. He he works at the place where me and Mr. Field worked. At, so a big shout out to all the students at Ashton Middle School. So I know a few listening. And he actually turned around and said that you are one of the biggest legends he has ever seen at Norwich City Football Club. How does that make you feel? Uh, that's a big statement. <laughs> um, you know what? I just I like to give myself a good account on to when I walk onto that field, uh, no matter what sort of club I'm at. Mm. I've always done that. I feel throughout my career, and uh, you know I'm 100%. And 
that's what I, that's what I do. So I'm from a fighting family, so it's yeah. in my blood to to perform at the highest level and just do the best I can, and that's it. Excellent. And and boxing. Why was it that kind of um, you know obviously you've got a whole family of boxers. I had everyone written down a minute ago, and trust me to leave it at the other end of the studio. But um, just for example, um, sort of like what I've got written down here. You're the son of former British and European boxing champion Clinton McKenzie and nephew of flyweight and well pretty much boxing legend Duke McKenzie. So how comes with family like that that was so into into boxing? How comes you went football? I guess they needed a model of the family, like, you know what I mean? If you went to boxing, I'm going to get his looks. No, I think it was more of, um, I was always, I've always been around boxing and I've always been in and out of the gym. And when uh, it was a decision to kind of go through, because I was kind of going, sort of bouncing between the two. So it was a de decision for me to uh, really kind of like jump jump on, on one of them. And um, football sort of came into play. I signed my TS with Crystal Palace and before you know it, I was like playing professional football. So um, that kind of just, I just kind of went with that and I never sort of looked back. Brilliant. Fair play, chat. And obviously now sort of like you, you're looking to do the music thing on, on the side um, of football. Um, what, what was it that sort of like inspired you to think, you know, after football, you know, I really want to go for this. What, what, was, the, what was the thought behind it? Because lots of people might go coaching or sure. into businesses. What made you want to think about singing? Um, I just, I've always loved music, I've always loved music and for me music is an important factor in, in my life and probably a lot of other people's lives that it gives you that, that good, you know, good feeling inside yeah. them, you know, music makes a lot happen in your life and you know, wherever, you, wherever you're driving or wherever it is, you know, you've always got that song that, that might sort of like highlight your, your life so to speak and I'm, I really obviously appreciate the you know, the perfection and the beauty of music and um, like I say, my family, um, a lot of my family members, you know, being my cousin Ashley and Leah and Jermaine and <laughs> Duke and like, honestly, there's a list full of art artists that mm. in my family who are not obviously like spoken about yet, but we've got a, you know, we've got like a big project coming mm. and we're doing lots of things together and it's just great to be able to get with your family, you've got so much talent in the family. And it's really good to be able to to, to broadcast that. Brilliant stuff. I'm telling you, that we're talking about music. How about we hear uh, what is going to be your debut single? Obviously, this is a worldwide exclusive. Yeah. Uh, this hasn't been heard before. Tell us a bit about the track, what it's called, and uh, what's it about? Basically, it's a, it's a song called Make It. Um, I co-wrote it with a, a, a producer at Hot Money Studios in London. Oh, cool. Called Patrick. And, um, yeah, we wrote the song. Um, it's... It could base it on a relationship, but it's not necessarily about a relationship. Yes, it's, it's about you know just life circumstances and just basically you know making it with that particular one person or or just mentally in your head to so just to get through hard times basically. And uh, I think I was writing it at a time maybe you know we're going through a recession and everything else. So yeah, it's it's a really like uplifting kind of make you feel good song. And I really do kind of believe in it. Um, so I'm going to hold on to it for a bit. Cool. Um, and then, uh, like I said, when I retire officially from football, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically. You know, I can, I can still continue football mm. um, at least for another season, um, and then thereabouts. You know, I'm sure that. You know, we will hear that for some. Happy days. In a big way. And um, I've actually had quite a few um, questions coming through via the chat room um, earlier on. We've got a guy called Ern who's actually in Benidorm. This this show plays out in his bar over there. And um, he's a big Luton Town fan. And I've also had guys twittering me all day going, Leon McKenzie, will you sign for Luton Town Football Club? The fans want to know, if the club come knocking on your door, are you going to come down to the mighty Kenilworth Road and banging the goals for us in the BSP? Listen, come and knock on my door. <laughs> And uh, I will do my best to make yeah. goals for Luton Town, 100%. Well, what I'll do is I'm going to get. I'm actually going to send an email tomorrow. I promise you this. I'm going to get. On, <laughs> I'm going to go to work, and I'm going to go on the computer when I'm not allowed, and I'm going to actually drop in an email to Gary Sweet and say you was on my show, and they should sign you, and we're going to get you into the Atlas. I think, I think the club needs a little bit. I think they do need a bit of the Mac attack. <laughs> Definitely do need a bit of the Mac attack there. But I'll tell you what, Leon, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go off the cuff. I've never done this before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you 10 musical questions, okay? Where I'm going to give you a line of a song, and then once <laughs> I've given you the line of a song, you've got to finish it, okay? Are you with me, are you with me on what I'm saying? With you. Are you I'm with not me? Confident. Okay, do, do not worry. You can be confident. Oh, you you can do this. It's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck on some really serious music. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Okay then, right, so then here we go. Ten musical questions that you've got to get the end to. What's that coming over the hill? What's that coming over the hill? No. Is it a monster? Okay, right. <laughs> sitting on the dock of that. Bay. Okay, and what was he doing? I'm just sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tides roll away. Wicked, loving that. It only takes a... Minute. It only takes a minute, go, I'll give you that one. Wicked, wicked. Wicked, wicked. Come on, you must know. It, it's, it's, it's a kind of drum and bassy tune from our era. Oh, Jungle Massive. Jungle is Massive, yeah, that's yeah. right. I like big... Butts. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Whip, whips and chains. Uh, uh, whips and chains? Yeah. Mm, not into that, deep. Come on, Rihanna. Not into that, deep. Whip, whips and chains. Um, Excite me. Oh, mate, let's have that. Okay. Buffalo Soldier. That's it, Jed. Look, we're good stuff. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Justin Bieber. Baby, 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 baby. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Back of the net. Let me be your. Let me be your. Let me be your. Uh, baby D, come on, baby D. Your, um. Pass huh? your fantasy. Let me be your fantasy. Well done, and we are. Champions. No, Luton Town, you got that one wrong, but, but, but to be fair, you've done ever so well there. Yeah, 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 right, right. right on the spot, but no, that was really good. But I'll tell you what we're going to do, Leon, uh, whilst I've just put your chat with the listeners, I want to get uh, you and James set up so we can be uh, singing out your acoustic version of a certain song. I'm going to let you introduce very soon. So if you guys just get yourself set up, and I'll be with you in just a minute. So guys, that was Leon McKenzie there. We've been talking to him about everything that is football and music, and coming up next, he is going to be singing a live acoustic version of a tune that I'm not going to tell you about but believe me you're going to absolutely love this me John O we've got John from Dunstable View here and James Field have all been listening to it and it does sound really good and I think that you're all going to be extremely impressed and just to let you listeners know out there you James Field and fans are in the chat rooms and the texts that we have had come through just let you know he will be closing the show today at 10 to 10 so make sure you stick around for that because he's going to be giving you an awesome acoustic version of an R&B track but I'm not going to tell you any more about that until he does it but anyway I'm now going to be passing back over to Leon McKenzie and James Fielden as they're going to sing us an awesome acoustic track Got me going crazy, crazy. Oh, yeah. 